This Daytona Shelby Z has a copyrighted box of 1986, so that would make it a 1987. Uh, it's molded in flash red, and uh, it does have the correct uh, crab style wheels for a Shelby Z. Um, like the other model kits, this can be built custom. And uh, here's some details. Uh, that picture of the V8 engine uh, is the most detailed we've seen. It's got uh, red, uh, red writing on the engine. Um, that's your 2.2 turbo engine. Uh, looking at that picture, that would tell me that this uh, Shelby Z is an automatic and that's still the Turbo 1 engine. Um, you can tell just by the way that the air box is plumbed. Um, only the five speed cars you could get the intercooled turbo. Uh, there's uh, an interior shot and a shot of the uh, custom wheels. Here's the side of the box. Uh, this model kit was originally purchased from Kmart for $6.38. Here's the top of the box. Again, it's got a bunch of different writing on it. And uh, there's the uh, copyright date. And here's the other side of the box. So that's the Dodge Daytona Shelby Z. This is a snap tight Dodge Daytona Turbo Z uh, by Monogram. Um, unlike the other kits that were 125th scale, um, this one is 124th. Uh, it's got some really colorful uh, pictures on it. Um, this would be, uh, I think it's a 1985, even though the box uh, is copyrighted 1986. And the reason why I say that is that there's no um, third brake light uh, underneath the um, spoiler. That's where the third brake light would have been. I really like this uh, this kit here. It it mostly resembles the one um, I had when I was in high school. Um, I had a black '86 Turbo Z CS, um, and it had the gold uh, gold wheels and um, gold decals. This is the top of the box. There's a nice little write up about it. And uh, there's the copyright, 1986. And it's got a bunch of other writing on it. And there's the side. This box is open, so we'll be able to uh, take a look at uh, what's inside. Okay, let's take a closer look at all the pieces and parts that make up this uh, monogram snap tight kit. Uh, as you can see, the body is molded in black. Um, it does have an opening hood. And uh, it's got the vent molded uh, into the hood. And what that would do is allow fresh air to um, go through the front air dam and flow through the engine compartment and out the top of the hood, um, helping reduce uh, engine compartment temperatures. Um, this kit uh, is molded with these um, rubberized 
uh, ground effects, uh, which were kind of a cool option to have um, on the real car. And uh, I think what these little um, notches were for uh, on the real cars is uh, you knew where to slide the jack in to um, jack the car up if you had to change the tire because otherwise these things sat really low to the ground and you know you couldn't really see underneath the car very good um, and what leads me to believe this is a 85 is that there's no uh, third brake light um, it would have been right underneath the rear spoiler there and it's not present on this model kit but also uh, if this was an 85 Turbo Z um, it should have been embossed in the uh, bumper cover right here it would have said uh, Turbo Z across the bumper and in 1986 this was just smooth like this but the 86's um, it said uh, Dodge Daytona Turbo Z on the tail lights and uh, definitely not uh, on the trunk lid like it's molded here no uh, no sunroof or uh, t-tops at all um, t-tops became available in 1986 but uh, it would have been kinda cool if it had a sunroof or something like that and uh, I don't really see any th indication that this car would have had um, the rear wiper. So here's the uh, interior floor pan um, and it's uh, actually really detailed. Um, it's got simulated uh, carpeting texture in here. Um, the back seats uh, that's the uh, black leather uh, interior which is really nice to have that was a really nice interior uh, this might be kind of hard to see but um, the door switches there uh, it's molded to have the um, power mirrors and uh, power door locks and uh, it's got the three pedals there brake or uh, clutch brake and gas and then uh, it's gonna be kinda hard to see also but um, it has the switches in the middle for um, power seats uh, the, the power windows uh, rear defrost and uh, if I had the rear wiper, it would also be located in the center console. So that's the uh, interior floor pan piece. Here's the bottom of the floorboards. The Daytonas, they, they were terrible about the uh, spare tire wheel well rusting through. Um, just notorious. And uh, this dash is uh, extremely detailed also. It's got the analog gauges in it. Um, it's got the, the three button clock there in the top center. Um, below that is the uh, boost gauge. And then there was another um, gauge there that would tell you low fuel, um, low washer fluid, uh, if any doors were open. Uh, below that it's got the um, push button uh, heater controls which was the a uh, little bit nicer style um, heater controls and it looks like it's got the premium uh, stereo in it uh, it had these little joysticks that you could move around um, so the sound would go front to back left to right and it also had I think it was a five um, five button equalizer so that was the premium stereo. Uh, some engine pieces. <clears throat> this is uh, the windshield side glass and uh, hatch glass uh, sm uh, smoked uh, in color. 
<clears throat> and uh, here's your uh, five lug Turbo Z wheels and uh, some engine pieces. That's the valve cover and air cleaner. Uh, these are your uh, tail light lenses. This is where um, it would have said uh, Dodge Daytona Turbo Z um, on 1986's. Yeah, it looks like a couple other various pieces. You've got exhaust pieces and tires. Uh, I wanted to show you the, the decals. I have them in here. Uh, really nice uh, gold decals. Um, these were the type of decals uh, that I would have had um, um, on mine uh, right here by the door. And uh, this kit, it says Turbo Z down low on the that kick panel there, but um, 85, 86, they never had that. That was an 84 thing. Still looks cool though, I think, especially the gold on the black paint there. So those are your decals. So that's uh, that's pretty much it um, for the monogram. Uh, 1985-86 uh, Turbo Z.